Hi everyone, in this video we'll study how to use for loops in Java using a simple example. Now the program here is to find the sum of natural numbers from 1 to 10. So you're going to add all the numbers from 1 to 10. Now you might think that if you want to just add numbers from 1 to 10, you can just add 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way till 10. That should be easy. Now if you say want to add numbers from 1 to 1000, there's a whole bunch of numbers and if you just write code to add 1 plus 2 plus 3, that will be a huge code that you have to write. This is where a for loop comes in and this is where for loops are very useful. Okay, So we are going to add to write code to add natural numbers from 1 to 10. We can change it if you want to add natural numbers from 1 to 100 or 1000. We'll see how that is done. Now once again, as I'm using jdoodle, it's pretty easy. We have declared a public class number and within that, what we have is the main method. Now, to add natural numbers from 1 to 10, what we have to do is we're going to use this concept of for loops. Now, we're going to, to keep the sum in a variable sum. So we first declare sum of type integer because we're adding all integers. Now, we initialize, we're going to initialize sum to 0. So initially, value of sum is 0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add 1 and 2 and 3 and keep this running sum in the variable sum. Okay, So first you're going to add 0 with 1 and then the result you're going to store it in sum. The next is you're going to add this result which is 1 to 2. The result will be 3. You'll once again keep it in sum. Then you're going to add the next integer with sum and keep the result in sum itself. Okay, Now how do we do that? For this, the concept of for loops come very handy. So we are going to add all numbers from 1 to 10. So what we are doing is we are going to first have an integer i. So i is defined in this for loop and it's going to, in, going to be initialized to 1. So initial value of i is 1. We are going to continuously increment i. That is what this plus plus i means. So initially i is going to be 1. Then i is going to increase to 2, then i is going to increase to 3, then i is going to increase to 4, so on and so forth. Now, till what time will i increase? That is captured by this second condition here, that i is less than equal to 10. So till i is less than equal to 10, the code is going to go inside this for loop. When i becomes greater than 10, the code will exit the for loop. So first initially i is 1. So it's less than 10. Therefore, it will go in here. What would it do? It will add sum equals sum plus 0. So let's see what happens here. So initially, sum is 0. Okay. So initially, you what you're going to do is you're going to add 0 plus 1. And that result, you are then going to store in sum. So sum will be equal to 1. Next, sum is 1. i is going to be 2. So sum is 1, i is going to be 2. What you're going to do is you're going to add 1, which is sum here, with i, which is 2. And the result you're going to store in sum. This equal to is an assignment. So 1 plus 2. So you're going to add this. So you're going to have 1 plus 2 here, which is 3. And that is going to be stored in sum. Next, now sum is 3. i is going to be 3. So sum is 3. i is 3. What, are you, what is going to happen is 3 plus 3. So you're going to do 3 and add 3 with it. The result is 6. That is going to be stored in sum. Okay. So in this way, the for loop is going to, to work. At one point, i will become 10. It will enter the for loop and add i with sum and store the result in sum. Then i will become 11. When i becomes 11, this condition of the for loop is going to be to be violated and it's not going to end, enter the for loop. It's going to exit, come out of the for loop and then we'll come to line 14 and print out sum. Okay, so that's what this piece of code is going to do. So I'm just going to remove this comment here. Now, important thing to understand is this is the syntax. So you first have i initialized, then you put the condition to which i is going to run or this for loop is going to to, to run 
and then there is this condition for incrementing i. You can write this as plus plus i, you can write this as i plus plus, okay, or i equals i plus 1. Those are different ways of writing it. There are subtle differences, you don't have to worry about this at this stage, okay. So now let's go ahead and execute this. So if I press execute, it will run and the result will be 55, okay. Now if you want to add natural numbers from 1 to 100, so what all I would change here is i less than or equal to 100. Let's execute this code again and it will give us the result which is 5050. So in this particular example what we studied is how to add natural numbers. It could be 1 to 100, 1 to 10, 1 to 50, whatever you want. I hope you found this video useful and this video helped you understand the concept of for loops. Thank you for watching.